Dykstra Dave here. It has been a long time since I've last done a video. Just again, life is busy. Had four more grandchildren this year. So I think it's 10. So that's kept us hopping and work. But today, I am out in the bush finally. It's very muddy, mucky and muddy out here with my Can Am 6x6 and bringing in firewood. And uh, so today's review will be on the Can Am and how much I appreciate it and how much hard work it does. As you can see, we got a full load in there and we have a rather deep bog just around the corner, not that there, but just around the corner here. I have to go through about 40 feet of bog and it could be as much as two feet deep with that load. So to show the capability, I'm gonna set up a video camera and hopefully I don't get stuck. All right, I said I'd set a camera up and here I realize I don't have the proper mount for this phone. So I'm gonna have to drive and videotape. Won't give it the same effect, but this is a 2020 one actually. Can Am 6x6. It's just got over 2,000 kilometers on it, which would be about uh, 160. All right, here's our very deep mud bog that's been slowly sinking into oblivion here. Actually, once again, this thing makes working in the bush so easy. I have sunk my tractor there more than once. That's why I now avoid that whole area. It's so soft and thick. Well, one thing, when you have a lot of weight on and you're in a lot of deep mud, the um, it overpowers the front steering on tight turns like that. So you find yourself making more turns. But, Let's see how many hours do we have on us. Oh, I just passed it. 283 hours. Besides a couple oil changes and changing out all the dry fluids, I've had zero problem. Um, I uh, I use my 6x6. I don't abuse it, I don't think. Um, but I use it. Uh, that hydraulic dump in the back, the six foot bed, I have hauled back at least 20 plus triaxle loads of fill back into my bush to make these trails because otherwise we'd be underwater right now. Tons and tons of gravel I've hauled back with, uh, with this as well. Great to quickly tilt the bed and, and dump it out. As you can see, the gravel trails along there and that we're coming up to closer to the cabin. Uh, it has been an indispensable tool in uh, getting firewood. Great on fuel, I can usually go almost a month with lugging around the bush and hauling things in and out. Now if I was out here every single day, I'd probably be worse, but I'm out here five days a week. Uh, lots of power, it's got 82 ponies. Tons of torque. Um, yeah, some drawbacks, which don't concern me overly, but for the average person it might. It does tear up lawn. If you've got soft lawn and you're making any tight turns, it will turn your lawn into a bit of a rotator garden. But uh, in my case, I, that all grows back. Not a biggie. And I try and stay off the lawn if it's getting really wet. There you heard the typical Can-Am. Oh, the can have squeaky brakes. They're well known for that. Again, not overly concerned. Actually, not concerned at all. Brakes work well. It's just a few times you use them and they are um, squeaky. But here we are back at the uh, wood processor and we're going to process these. But uh, I got to give uh, two thumbs up on this it's uh, it's exceeded my expectations it's given me zero problems 
as I'm burning a drop of oil. I've done nothing. Actually, I haven't done nothing. There was a bulletin out for a, uh, a rebuild for, well, I don't think a rebuild, but an upgrading of the uh, front differential that uh, heavier springs and washers. I really didn't have a problem, but when I brought it in, my dealer was good enough to mention it. And I said, hey, go ahead. Uh, now the new ones, like the 23s and up, have actually even made a better front differential, but for now, no problems. That winch on the front, oh, I use that dozens of times a day uh, for pulling logs, pulling trees that didn't fall all the way over, getting a bit of a pull on the, on the uh, bottom. To make them fall out of a stuck tree has been fantastic um, this is the XT model which gives you the full skid pack pad underneath I don't know if you can see that it's probably covered in mud but it's got a full underbelly um, which has been great because my daughter has a the 700 model of this and she has put a log right through by her foot by the brake pedal on hers it does not have the skid package underneath um, and with the XT you get the, the roof up here you get the upgraded bolstered seats which are super super comfortable we take a lot of long drives in the backcountry roads my wife and I and our pups uh, also comes with the winch and the front bush bar oh and the hydraulic dumping bed and really, I don't think it was that much more. It was under two grand more. And man, the features you get for that are just so worth it. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for something, it's not going to get stuck. I have had it stuck, but that was my own fault. But very hard to get stuck. We'll work like a truck in the bush and do it efficiently and safely and with a lot of fun. I would definitely recommend the HD Defender 10 6x6. Any questions you have, please leave it below in the comments. Thanks.